also known as Chef Charlotte, and I'm super excited to have you here watching my video. So today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how to make pretzels exactly like Annie Ann's. The things that I love about this recipe, number one is that the ingredients, most people have them in their pantries. The only thing that you might not have is yeast. Number two, it's a super easy recipe too. You just make the dough, let it sit for an hour, and make your pretzels, that's all it is. All right guys, I'm just gonna stop talking right here and get into the video. We are going to start out this recipe by putting two cups of milk into a pot and heating it till it's warm all the way through. And you want to make sure you're constantly stirring it so no weird film of milk forms in the top. And you want to make sure it doesn't boil because that will burn the milk and you do not want that. You want it to be steaming exactly like this and you'll know that it's done. Now transfer that hot milk into a bowl and put your butter in there and also put your sugar. I didn't get that on video but I promise I put it in there and stir until the butter is totally melted and the sugar is dissolved. After that happens, set it aside to cool down. And this is the yeast that I use. I don't use envelopes, I just have a big thing of yeast. And in this recipe, you're gonna want to use one envelope, or in my case, two and a quarter teaspoon of yeast. So, as I'm doing here, I'm just kind of sprinkling it on top and I'm going to let it sit for a couple minutes. And after that, I'm going to add the five cups of flour. And I know it seems like a lot, but you're gonna need it. So now you're going to want to stir it, and I use my hook attachment here for my KitchenAid. If you don't have a KitchenAid, then I recommend just stirring it until you can't stir it anymore and putting it on a floured surface and start to knead it. And there I just added two teaspoons of salt. So you're gonna let this KitchenAid stir for a while until it is fully combined all together. And once it is, you just have to detach the paddle, scrape it off, cover the bowl with a dish towel, and set it aside for about an hour or until the dough has doubled in size. Here it is, one hour later. It's about doubled in size. You wanna punch it right in the middle and shake it out. There it is, and just try to shape it into a little ball if you can. And this is just my technique that I like to do. Some people like to cut it up into 10 pieces to make 10 pretzels. I like to cut it up into fours and separate it that way. And then I just work with those separately. Here I am, I just cut that one in half, start rolling out to make a pretzel. When you're rolling out your dough, you wanna try to make it as thin as possible because it will puff up in the oven. So the thinner it is, the better it is, in my opinion. And it will give you that more authentic Annie Ann's look. And here I am just making that pretzel shape. It's pretty simple to do. Next thing you wanna do is get your water bath ready. So two cups of water, and then just put some baking soda in there, mix it around. Put your pretzel in the water, just turn it around a little bit, and then put it on the pan and shape it as you would like. These pretzels are gonna go in at 450 for about eight to 10 minutes, depending on the size of your pretzel. So here I am getting ready for my buttering and salting area. I just like to use tin foil because it's super easy to clean up. And now I'm using the other half of the butter stick and just microwaving it so it's melted. And here are the pretzels. They should be golden brown exactly like this and that's how you know that they're done. So the next step is to butter your pretzels right after they get out of the oven and then sprinkle on a coarse salt. I used kosher salt in this case, but if you have pretzel salt, I recommend it. And here is me just chopping a thin rope of the dough to make these little pretzel bites, which are my favorite way to use this recipe. And they cook for about eight to 10 minutes as well, maybe a little less because they're smaller. I'm 
just wrapping up half of the dough that I have left and I'm just going to refrigerate it until I want to use it again. Thank you.